Okay, shh. Pretend that we just just finished. We're just finishing playing. Yep, I think that'll work. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of Composing in 2662 Part 2 Motifs. Today we picked up and explored what is a motif. A motif is a short musical phrase that's noticeable. And there's a lot of synonyms for it in music, hooks and riffs and so forth. And in the last stream we had picked one out. And so today we put that over here in a motif model with some repeats and things. We then reminded ourselves that we have the idea of a melodic line going across the top and bass chords going across the bottom. And so in our motif model here, we picked after we played this melody, which very simple, uh, recognizable short fragments motifs. And uh, then we picked out the backbone. Silence. And then again, the backbone. And then we finally went back and picked some chords to match them. And the idea is that the chord and the backbone should match. So we picked whatever melody we wanted. And some of the melody had passing notes, which are smoothing the, smoothing the steps between along the melody. And the backbone is just the core skeletal structure and then the, the cadence or the bass chords. So we said, well, we have a C here and we ended up picking this uh, chord here because it has it's a tonic and has a nice C in it and has rest energy. Then we wanted a chord that had an A flat in it and we we debated whether to use uh, this one or this one and we picked this one because reasons and then we kind of repeat that uh, and then some, over, over here we ha suddenly had an A note which is an urging note and uh, we picked this chord. So what we've accomplished is started with a very simple motif melody. We anticipate having more than one motif. We went ahead and picked out a backbone and we picked out some of the chords from our reference and this is what we have come up with. Very simple structure, very simple energy story, a recognizable beginning, a recognizable end, recognizable mi middle, and this is a fragment. Uh, so in the next stream, we anticipate uh, making uh, another fragment, um, maybe perhaps working off the C62 scale or something else. We don't know yet. We have to listen to it in our head. The other thing that happened was we acknowledged that after we were humming, dun, 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 it's so hard because it does remind us. And you say, it sounds a little off. What is that reminding us of? Well, ta-da. It's almost the same thing. Something like that. But we're using the A flat, which is, oh, doesn't jive with memory. So one more time, and then we'll wrap. And 
who knows, you know, there are some traditional major minor chords down here in the full tonality scale. We ended up using a full tonality chord here, the 2662, instead of just the two, everything here was a 26 minor, except for that one right there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention and interest as always, and I look forward to seeing you in our next stream. And as always, please keep on streaming.